Now let's get started with finance. <laughs> now the first thing, let's download some market data. So a lot of what quantitative finance is all about is basically data uh, from the market. And um, so you probably know some company maybe in the US uh, that we should download data from. Let's say, how about Apple, right? Okay, so it's really easy to do with Y Finance. What we do is, in fact, Y Finance downloads data from Yahoo Finance. Um, so, so it just, just basically builds an app around that. So what we do is Y Finance or YF dot download, and then uh, we uh, Apple has the uh, ticker symbol AAPL. So that's the symbol that it uses on the stock market. And um, let's say we want to start to download them in, um, let's say 2004, 1st of January. Okay, and then we have to uh, give this a name. So for some reason, my mouse is a bit funny today. So AAPL equals YF to download. All right, and we run this. And then boom, you can see it's here, AAPL. So let's see what's an AAPL. All right, that looks interesting. So, Josh, have you seen um, have you seen a data frame before? Do you know what a data frame is? Mm, not quite, or not in that regard, but yeah. okay. So what we're seeing here is basically a data frame, and a data frame is something that is heavily used in finance. And it's a, I would say, you know, Microsoft Excel. It's Microsoft Excel on steroids. So in a data frame, uh, generally in finance, what you have is uh, columns with dates. You can see this here on the left, the date. And then uh, you have other columns uh, that give you uh, data. And in this case, you can see this here, open, high, low, close, and volume. And so... What you see, these are actual price data from Apple. So you can see the price here. And what open, high, low, close means is the first price, the open price. So, so open, high, low, close basically gives you prices of one day. And it gives you a price range of one specific day. And this is really important because, in fact, there's prices of Apple generated every microsecond, every millionth of a second, you get a new Apple price. But obviously, we don't want all these prices because there's just far too many and, and we could have easily a million data points per second. So instead of that, what we do is we actually aggregate <clears throat> all these price data and we bring them together in what you call the open, high, low, close data. And so what it means is, uh, we've got the open, this is the price that happens at the opening of the market. So usually the US uh, New York Stock Exchange opens at 9.30 a.m., I think. Um, and then uh, we've got the high, which is basically the highest price of the day. The low is the lowest price of the day. And the close is the final price of the day. So that usually happens at 4 or 4.30 uh, p.m. 4 o'clock, I think, 4 p.m. And then you can also see here, we have an adjusted close. That's actually a bit different from the close price. And I will explain to you further down the track what this means. We don't need to worry about that right now. And we've also got the volume. And so the volume basically tells us how many shares have been traded during that day. And you can see there's quite a lot. There's 144 million uh, shares traded on the uh, on the 2nd of January 2004. Okay, so that's open, high, low, close. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, the most important price that we have uh, is which price? What do you think, Josh? Hmm. The most important from open, high, low, and close? Mm. So that's a good it's question. Basic yeah, it's a good question. So it's basically the close price. So mm -hmm. usually um, when we work uh, with market data and we work, in this case, with daily data, so, so our 
time resolution is daily. Every new day we get a ticker. We could also have a an hourly resolution or a, a one second resolution. In this case, daily is a typical thing we can start with. Uh, and this is also what we can download from uh, Y Finance, which is great. But daily is a very typical uh, uh, time resolution. And when people in the mark are in the markets, generally they're interested in the closing price. What is the last price of the day? That's the important price. So a lot of what we do, a lot of the models that we will build, we're actually mainly using the closing price. So we don't really uh, use uh, the other prices as much. Uh, we will as well. But uh, the closing price, you will realize, is the price that is the most important in quantitative finance. So we use it a lot. Now, uh, what can we do with it, the other frame? The other frames are actually pretty amazing. And the other frames are built on another package, which we haven't imported right now, but, but which is really uh, important. And it's called Pandas. Pandas, I'm not sure what it stands for, but it's basically a, a, a package where you can store and work with uh, these tabular data, these data frames. And I will show you, first of all, uh, some really, really cool applications of Pandas because that's something we will use a lot uh, down the track. 